Hi, my Sunday night film last week was Jacques Tati's Jour de Fête, uh, his first film originally released in 1949. It's uh, built from uh, elements from a previous short that he had made, uh, L'Ecole des Facteurs, The School for Postmen, which explored how uh, postal workers can become more efficient in their rounds. Uh, this film goes so far as to actually recycle complete jokes and seemingly complete chunks of material, um, uh, excerpts and all, from the previous film. The setting is a small rural French town in the late 1940s, and our main character is Francois, the local postman, who goes around his round um, with characteristic efficiency, doing his best for the village, and gets involved in the preparations for a major festival in the village, putting up a flagpole in the, uh, the centre square, uh, annoying the cafe owner, um, being picked on by the carnival workers who brought the fair to town. And uh, at the fair, there is a movie show, uh, one short film of which is a maybe parody, maybe in-universe real a uh, film about all the amazing strides that the American Postal Service have gone to, parachuting people to deliver mail and lifting them up by helicopter. And Francois is teased about his comparatively primitive bicycle route. Um, so he endeavours to deliver the post the following day in the American style, which is with great speed and efficiency, leading to a frenzied chase around town, delivering mail wherever he goes. It's a tight focused film um, and it's had a number of iterations. It was originally filmed in, in both colour and black and white, um, but the colour process called Thompson Colour was relatively primitive. And in fact, the company that was supposed to process the film went bankrupt before production concluded. A black and white version of the film was released at the time. Then in the mid sixties, a partially colour version was put together. It wasn't until the nineties after Tati's death that the Thomson Colour negative could actually be properly processed and the film edited to how Tatty had intended. So a full colour version was finally available. I watched the original black and white released version, uh, but even in that form, I found it charming, entertaining, a slice of rural post-war French life. Um, having watched Tatty's earlier shorts beforehand and seen the evolution of his style of humour, um, particularly as I'd already seen some of his later work, um, Les Vacances de Monsieur Hulot and Playtime, which I've covered in the podcast, I can see where the end point is. And this is the connective tissue of going from these uh, straightforward comic sketches of his earlier work to the much more focused, choreographed humour of, um, of Jean de Fête, and then to the full-scale, operatic, epic humour of playtime. So this is an important milestone in the career of one of cinema's great clowns. I found it highly enjoyable and I expect you would as well.